Students, parents, and staff in the Van Buren Community School District welcome a new superintendent this year. I mean, you walk down the hallways and the kids just, you know, stop to talk to you. You know, they really don't even know me yet, and that's really exciting. Dr. Pam Yule says providing the best learning experience for students is a top priority. The focus in Van Buren is really on student achievement and the whole child. I mean, we have such a great opportunity here for kids to be involved in athletics, activities, and really engage in their day with academics. And to me, that's that's the goal. The Iowa Education Reform Bill signed into law by Governor Branstad brings about new changes for Van Buren schools and other schools across the state. Van Buren school administrators tell me that as a result, they are utilizing new tools which will ultimately enhance student achievement and performance. We had a lot of training for our staff through the summer um, to talk about our new one-to-one -one initiative that we will be rolling out this year for grades five through eight. Um, training them on what's called a curriculum loft, which is the software piece that goes with our devices. We're also implementing for the first time this year a brand new K-6 comprehensive math curriculum. We're using the Envisions program and uh, we're putting that into place this year. So at the end of this year we will have a sequential comprehensive K-6 literacy and math curriculum that aligns with the core um, that will be fully implemented. In terms of the budget, the main challenges are covering the cost of building renovations and student transportation. Then watching our enrollment over the next five to ten years will, will be a key piece for me and the school board and the staff to work on. Dr. Yule says she is focused on building relationships with people in the community and watching the district grow. I would encourage people to come visit and come see our school district. Reporting in Kiyosakwa, Iowa, Laura Simon, KTVO News.